Hello my dear viewers, in this video I will talk about three areas that are important in order to make you confident among the rich. First of all a short disclaimer, I'm not implying that rich or wealthy people are more worthy than poorer or middle class people. That is absolutely not the case. I made this video because I realized that many of us who don't come from wealth who don't come from rich families or who just are not rich and cannot afford the same places, items, environments like those rich people that have the money to their disposal might feel intimidated when they enter this circle. For example, when you are invited or when you just enter this, this kind of circle of people that you haven't been in before. My tips will prepare you a little bit and help you to feel more like you belong. So here is how to feel more confident in luxurious places, in a cultured environment and among wealthy people when you yourself actually cannot afford a life like this and are not familiar with it. So we will start with area number one, the outer appearance. And then I will go to the body language and in the end to the mindset. So we have three areas that you can improve. Of course, true confidence comes from within. Yet there are some superficial tricks that you can use and apply in order to blend better with this specific group that I am referring to, with the rich or the wealthy or the people that frequently are in luxurious, expensive or very cultured environments such as five-star hotels, very expensive restaurants, but also like events or receptions. So there is a saying which goes, birds of the same feather flock together. And that's true. So in order to be a bird that signals that it belongs, you have to adapt your feathers. <laughs> so I will start with the outside. So of course, when you wear items that the rich are familiar with, you will also blend better and feel more like you belong. But here is of course a big problem. If you are not rich yourself and you cannot afford expensive, designer items, clothing, etc. This is of course not a solution. But let's say you are middle class. You like luxury and you like fashion and maybe you can save towards at least one item, one designer item that you also really like to have. Or maybe you can get it as a gift. So just get at least just one item that makes you feel like you belong to the same feather <laughs> and it doesn't have to be a, like a Cartier bracelet or something very expensive or a designer handbag if that's too much for your budget. It can also be something like a designer sunglasses that you are wearing on your head, very visible and it can be a, like a Chanel or Dior sunglasses that will already make you appear like the same bird <laughs> on the top of your head and then the rest is not that important. You can wear very elegant no-name clothing of a high quality of natural materials and it will still look expensive and like you belong. So you don't have to wear brands from head to toe. That's not important and also that's not what the rich all do. Um, so there are of course different kind of people that frequent those places. There are those that you immediately see because they are covered in designer items, then there are some that are more subtle and you don't immediately see that they are rich or that they can afford very expensive clothing. So it's not mandatory to have designer items visible. But if you can and if you want, then it doesn't hurt to have one or two things that those birds are familiar with. And it can also be just a scarf, for example, a designer scarf. And those accessories are quite affordable in contrast to the clothing or handbags. And because of the fact that they are much more affordable, it might be possible for you 
to sooner or later have one of those items and then you just put it on and it automatically make you feel more confident like blend more with this environment besides you should avoid to wear brands at all if you cannot afford really high quality brands because if you wear flashy items brands that rather have a bad reputation such as michael kors or guess wanna be rich <laughs> but we all know that they are middle class brands i would just really avoid this and rather have a nice leather handbag made in italy without any visible brand if you go to italy there are so many really really affordable leather handbags or belts and accessories and that's much much better and also more classy more individual than just wearing some kind of brand very flashy or visibly and it's better to be low-key rich than be apparently wannabe rich true elegance is not in brands anyway it's in your taste and in the quality another point is your grooming your grooming should also be expensive looking so you should have styled hair good decent makeup groomed nails just be very groomed this will also give you a classy and elegant appearance and make you look rich and although we all know that not all rich people are well groomed or elegant the total opposite can be the case but it doesn't matter here i am referring more to rather luxurious rather cultured environments and to people that are rather groomed so you should also be groomed in an elegant way and that will also make you feel more confident my and next tip is to wear a high-end perfume of course you can just wear a perfume that the rich are also wearing and maybe i can make a video about that if you're interested about the perfumes that the rich men or women are wearing if you like to see that uh, let me know down below in the comments I will make a video like that with pleasure. In any case, try to use a high-end perfume, maybe a niche perfume, something that has high quality ingredients. And perfume is also such a thing, it's a luxury item, but it belongs to those luxury items that are still affordable for someone with a normal like middle class or lower salary when we just save up for it or wish it for our birthday or whatever that's something that you can also use in order to smell like the rich to smell expensive and the smell will also of course make you feel confident and that's what it's all about in the end so all those outer things they are superficial but they can influence your inner feeling and that's what it is about to feel confident expensive and classy feel like you belong and not like you are beneath these people because that's absolutely not true really really avoid those cheap mainstream perfumes then it's better to wear no perfume than some kind of cheap mainstream low quality perfume area number two the body language posture and voice so now we are going a little bit deeper now it's not only about the outer appearance the very very superficial things but about what you can do with your body and with your voice basically the posture can signal a lot to your environment your posture can reveal that you feel beneath that you feel less that you feel not confident even when you are dressed from head to toe in designers if this part this area is not met you can be dressed from head to toe in designers well groom etc and you still will look as if you don't belong and you will also feel like that and you will be perceived like that that's why it is so important and that you work on your body language and posture and i have made lots of videos about that that i will link down below so that you can watch them all the tips apply to this area but maybe the most important for you if you are watching for the first time stand or sit upright roll your shoulders back and elevate your chest your body will be just upright elevate your head like on an invisible string and push the chin a little bit back so that it's in the middle of your spine 
and then look around, look people in the eye, have an open mimic. When people look interested in you or a little bit longer, smile at them politely, then look away again or greet them. Just look as if you are very cultured, polite and on the same level. That's just about it. And that's also the truth. You are on the same level. You are human. Because if your body language signals that you feel confident and secure and not awkward, you will also blend with the luxurious environment and people will not perceive you as a bird of a different feather. <laughs> you know what I mean? With regards to your voice and language. So in this video, I am assuming that you will enter a luxurious, rather cultured environment. So then you should also adapt your language and not use any vulgar or street language, but just use your best language. And if you're not used to that, maybe read some literature, watch some Bridgerton <laughs> series <laughs> or read the books. Those will also inspire you and help you to so refine your language a little bit because it makes a big impact. And also your voice. Try to have a soft voice. Speak not too loudly, not too quietly. I have made a video about that. You can also watch it. There are some exercises on how to have a more agreeable voice because this all will build one picture. Even if you don't have money, but if you have all those kinds of things, you, you will have like a good taste, a good posture, confident charisma, agreeable voice, a classy language. This will make you actually much richer than many people with money. And now area number three, the mindset, which is the most important area because the thing is that I know many of you who don't come from wealthy environments, they might feel simply intimidated. Lacking confidence is a lot about the wrong assumptions. Many people assume that the rich are like that because they are more intelligent, more smart, more refined, more successful and that's why they are more worthy. And this is not the case because you might be, as I said, much richer in other areas of life in relationships, your family life, health, values, talents. So those are all things that make you rich in those areas. So the only area that might be different in some cases is the amount of money in your bank account or in, in general. So you have to be aware of that fact. You have to believe that money or being rich is just a circumstance and it's just a tool that those people have. That's why they can afford this lifestyle. Something that can change in an instant. Besides, we are all the same. So never feel like you are less, not worthy, less right to be there. And you need to have the mindset of we are all humans. And it also doesn't mean that all wealthy or rich people are rich because they are so intelligent or so smart or have worked so hard. Some have just inherited it. Some come from very rich families and have been born into it or getting money from their families. Or some are just from very lucky circumstances. They may have good characters, bad characters, good values, bad values. They may look good or they may look bad. The same as poor people in terms of money. One example for a good mindset is I have noticed that many of the employees who work with very rich or very powerful people on a daily basis are very confident in their conversations with those clients, with those people. They basically talk to them and treat them as if they are on the same level. Like with respect, with professional respect, with politeness, because of course they are clients, but it doesn't look or it doesn't feel as if they are like, you know, like servants or um, beneath them, at least in Europe. They are really confident. And I think that's a really great way of being. Maybe it's because they are used to this environment and although they themselves could not afford it waiters or receptionists or maybe 
concierges don't earn that much but they are still on a human level on the same level and they give you that feeling they treat all the customers the same it's not that all the service staff is like that but i just have met a few like that and i was really really impressed and i also think that the clients the very rich or wealthy or powerful people respect this attitude they have found out something that others don't have they have realized that those people are just the same they just have more money but it doesn't mean that they cannot talk to them on the same level so that's, so that's my example and i hope that with my tips and suggestions you will also achieve this feeling this confidence when you navigate among the wealthy or rich or among in very luxurious places and you will just blend into it and feel good feel classy feel expensive feel confident totally independently of your bank account or the money that you have to your disposal so Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye bye.